Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we've got another unboxing for you. This is the April slash May um, Stitch Life magazine uh, subscription box, which I um, after last the last unboxing I did, which was the February March the pie related box, I decided instead of buying them one at a time, I opted in for the um, renewing subscriptions. So this is the April-May box and the theme this time around is outer space, which is kind of exciting because um, if you've been following the news here lately, the um, equipment that is on Mars included a helicopter which um, uh, made the news because it actually was operable so that was kind of exciting and that was kind of good timing for this um, kit and if you are a follower of Stitch Life magazine either on Facebook or on Instagram you may have seen some teasers um, I'll put a photo here of one in particular that I was really excited because this is the pattern um, but we'll get into that a little bit more um, in uh, a minute um, so I wanted to start out because last time I didn't think I got to point out um, but that Dana and the folks at Stitch Life Magazine always decorate the box. Um, this is not their doing. This is mine. I was taking the um, label and everything off the front. Um, but I wanted to leave um, the happy stitching that they hand wrote on there. And then they always put stickers um, on the box. Which is always kind of a nice touch. And I think last the um, pie box um, had a sticker on the bottom as well that's, that thanked the postal workers, which I thought was a really nice touch as well. So um, let's get start, started with opening this box. Again, I've seen a couple of sneak peeks as to some of the things that are in this box, but um, I'm not sure about the rest. All I know is it is space themed. So let's open it up. I think May is down here and she's excited as well to see what's inside. All right. Oh yes, very much space, <laughs> space themed. I have to give it to them. The uh, iridescent um, cellophane is very much a nice touch. Oh my gosh, it's almost blinding. And let's take the sticker off so we can get this open. Oh, this is so much fun. So um, here's the card. Um, this. Stitcher, this needs some space. This is, um, that's the pattern, which is really exciting. I hate to do the pattern up front, but hopefully we'll have more details in a minute. And if you notice too, they were inspired by the, um, May the 4th be with you, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, that's the, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so that's the, um, the alternate to May the 4th be with you um, that everybody uses on May the 4th. So that's really exciting. So their card says May 4th is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. So this box is all about outer space. And they've given a list of all the things in this month's box. So as I pull the things out, I will um, read them off the list. So let's start, there is a galaxy themed stress ball, very, very squishy. Oh, and it's very firm too, which I actually kind of like, um, but yeah, galaxy themed, which is really nice. Might also have to be something that, you know, you have to throw at the cat to get her to stop bumping the tripod. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's very nice. Um, and it's nice, um, nice stiff foam. If you know anybody that's got like, um, some kind of, uh, hand issue that needs, um, some exercise. This is actually a really, really good ball. I wonder where they got this from. Really kind of exciting. Uh, it says it's a stress ball for those times when you have to frog your work. So yeah, completely understandable there. Um, Let's do the snacks. They said these are space snacks. So moon cheese. 
and Tang, which is a big part of the astronaut. Um, the space program very early on as far as um, something that they um, ate in space. I want to figure out. Moon cheese, space rocks, and Tang. Space rocks. That must be like pop rocks. Yeah, popping candy. Pop rocks. Or space rocks. Very cool. Very cool. And then this little cute astronaut. Outer space lollipop. And then, yeah, the moon cheese crackers and the Tang. Um drink mix. Um, the card says, fun fact, astronauts can't, can't, cannot eat bread, salt, pepper, or soda while in space. Um, you know what's not on the list of no-nos? Moon cheese, space rocks, and tang, the so-called drink of the astronauts. So that's very, very, very cool. All right, so... Let's do, because I'm eyeballing this, the needle minder. That is absolutely adorable. Little um, space kitty, which, and it, by the looks of, or by reading the card, apparently you got a different needle minder depending on your box. So that is absolutely adorable. Made by the Nerdy Needle. There's their information there. If, um, if you want to check them out on Etsy. Very, very cool. And then this little card that they put in there as well. Very awesome. Okay, do planet magnets. We know that Pluto is no longer a planet, but it is still in our hearts, so enjoy. Planet magnets are designed by Kim at uh, FRK Land Co. And yes, she included Pluto. So... I can do this without oh oh it's I think it's the entire um what we know is the solar system so she included a planet guide of which one is which and then all of the corresponding planets there's our earth so cute so cute I was trying to see if I can find Pluto in here since Pluto's the little gray one ah oh. There he is, right there. So very, very cute. Okay, so it is, I pronounced it wrong. It is F-R-K-L and Co. That is F-R-L, F-R-K-L and Co on Etsy and on IG. So there you go. Okay, so there is our download and needle information. Yeah, um, I didn't, I forgot to kind of mention this last time. Um, but the, um, the pattern, they always give us the pattern information. Um, if I can get it to focus. Well, here, use the card. It focused on the card. They always give us the pattern information. Um, but they don't, we, I have yet to get an actual paper pattern. They have always been digital. So hopefully you're okay with that. Um, you know, of course, I know many people who print, print them out anyway. I actually prefer the digital copies um, just because it's less paper on the planet and because I can save it to my cloud so I don't have to save or take up space on any um, digital device so um, but yeah so they always include a little um, uh, download uh, basically information with with the box for the actual pattern itself okay so the fabric well let's do this first these 
if you watch very many floss tubers, you will know these are magnetic ties. Um, a lot of people, what they do is they use these to actually hold their fabric around their Q-snap or their hoop or whatever, just like when you have a large piece of fabric, um, just to kind of roll it up and get it out of the way. This is actually my first set of these. Um, so far I haven't worked on any projects with any excessive amount of fabric that I needed to get out of the way, but I do have a couple that I'm fixing to start. So I'm actually looking forward to this, but yeah, there, there are two, um, either one for each side of your project or maybe the one side where all the fabric is, but essentially like she had it rolled up around the fabric here. Um, but yeah, they just snap on the front and the back. Um, so those are really kind of nice. Um, and of course they're star shaped, you know, got to stick with the space theme. The fabric is by Fernway Studio. Studio. Um, it is one of a kind and hand dyed with love. And it is a galaxy or, uh, oh goodness, like a, almost like a, uh, reverse starburst um or you know a sky uh fabric that is really really pretty really really nice to stitch our pattern on and then the floss which was put this was another kind of sneak peek this was put in these cute little 3d rocket boxes but this is all the floss for our project. But in addition, we were given the hoop. And then also, look at this guy's backing fabric. Look at that. That is freaking amazing. For the back of our project. That is awesome. So, uh, and she mentions that Pluto is on here as well, but I'm kind of wondering though, I don't think I got a cut with Pluto. I got Saturn, Mercury, Venus, that might be Jupiter, I don't know, it may be cut off, and then Mars. But still very cool, and I do like the constellations. And if you're a fan of Harry Potter, there's a little uh, Harry Potter for you there as well. Very awesome, very cool. And then I noticed this, but I didn't see anything about it. I think this is one of those kaleidoscope thingies. Like you look through the... I was trying to look through. Yeah. I think she either forgot to mention it or I got somebody's, <laughs> somebody's extra in my box. Hopefully other people got this as well, but I think it's very, very cool. I don't know if I can get the the camera lens to do but you know you look in it and it it does the little kaleidoscopy thing <laughs> that's actually kind of awesome that <laughs> you can actually see it through the camera I'm such a nerd okay I gotta quit but yeah very cool okay sorry I'm probably like freaking y'all out now okay so floss hoop backing fabric and then the last piece in the box Gosh, I'm running out of room here, guys. Is this really cute galaxy tote? Very pretty. Purple on one side, a little more blue on the other, and these really pretty holographic handles. Um, and yeah, she did good because uh, your project, your project would definitely fit in there. So if you wanted to take your project with you to the doctor's office or to the, um, to work, um, 
it would actually all fit in this bag. So this is really exciting, guys. Um, I was really kind of looking forward to this more than some of the others, or I say some of the others. I She has a list out there, so you can actually buy month to month um, just the ones that you want. Um, and as long as she's got them available, you know, to order or pre-order, she will always have them out there. Um, but she does have a list of what's coming up. Um, but yeah, this one I was actually really kind of, um, excited about just for the reason, uh, I'm a big space nerd person. Um, not just Star Wars, but also, um, you know, just in general, I think the space program is very underrated, and I think those folks have worked very hard for decades now and sometimes don't get the credit that they deserve for some of the things that, um, inventions and, and projects and stuff that have come out of the space program that maybe not necessarily were designed for space or designed, um, uh, exclusively for NASA or the space program, but I think, um, it offers a, an outlet for creative people to think creatively about things that most of us, I think, take for granted. So, um, but yeah, this is absolutely fabulous. Um, Dana and the ladies absolutely nailed this one. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to start on this just because if nothing else, um, I feel this way a lot. Even, even here home alone, I still feel like sometimes I don't have enough space from, you know, cats and life and whatever. So yeah, guys, um, I hope you like this box. I think she's got some left out there. So go grab you one while you still can. And, um, yeah, uh, be a fan of the space program. It's, it's, it's always fascinating and awe-inspiring and, and uh, motivating uh, to watch those folks and the hard work that they do. So uh, I will put all the information on how to find Stitch Life magazine online. Um, also, they, are, they currently have both um, a Patreon uh, setup, but also a coffee setup, KO hyphen FI setup. And I think they're trying to switch over to coffee. Um, I'm going to put that below as well because they're, they're starting to do a really neat feature where, um, it allows them to creatively put, um, patterns out there that, um, allows you to buy or pay for what um, what you think is a fair price. Um, and so th they kind of set a minimum, but a very reasonable minimum. I think everything on there right now is $2 if it's not free. Um, but then you can, you can pay more, you know, basically you, you can choose to pay what you feel you think that that pattern is worth. And if all you can afford right now is $2, that's exactly why they did that. Because they didn't want anyone to feel like they couldn't ex access those patterns. So, um, I will put that below as well. Um, they are a great group of gr ladies. They also have, um, a channel here on YouTube and I think every Friday... <sighs> They do kind of a one and a half to two hour um, sit and stitch, you know, the whole group um, together and talk about their week and what they've been working on and their current projects and whips and finishes. So, um, and they're, they're really a cute, uh, interesting, funny group of, of individuals. So with that, I will, I will end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this and, um, my next floss to or my next my next video um coming up will probably be a cross stitch one i'm preparing for may which means uh some things to some stitchers and um yeah i have a lot of things that i've worked on in april as well so i will catch you guys later i hope you take care and uh, we'll see you soon